What is going on guys, TD Presents here and I'm bringing you guys episode 1 of where you guys voted, you guys commented on what players you want to see me use in the new season. I went through one by one in each comment, I tried picking at least one player, I know someone wanted the 97 Andre Johnson, well I went and get the 96 because the 97, he was going for 191,000 coins and he was the only one up there for about two days so I didn't know what to do. I went with the 96, I hope that works. There's only about four or five people that really didn't get one player they voted for. And that's because you are you only commented like one or two players and I already had that position. So I really wanted to use the player. Or someone else yesterday left a really good comment, but I already picked the team. But hey, maybe at the mid-season point, I can pick up some new players that some of you guys want. And I'll also probably be doing this again in the future. So hey, if you didn't get a player, I'll probably be picking them up sooner than later. So right now I'm showing you guys some of the purchases I did make. I didn't want to show all of them because that would have took way too much time. But you guys get the point. I'm getting the guys. Josh Gordon, he was voted for a bunch. Brian Dawkins, I'm grabbing him. So I'm going to show you guys my lineup in about 20 seconds. You see I'm purchasing Reggie White. I was thinking about getting the 99. But once again, another case where there's only a couple up. So you see my passing offense. Josh Gordon, Andre Johnson, Doug Baldwin. Tony Gonzalez, I also got Golden Tate, Rob Gronkowski, I got Alex Smith at the quarterback. So that is going to be my passing offense. For my run offense, I kept my old line the same. Some of you guys wanted to see Nick Mangold, so I was like, hey, easy enough. I'll just leave it the same. A uh, bunch of Chiefs fans for some reason in my comments. But hey, if you guys want to see those players, I brought them to you. I grabbed Anthony Sherman. I also grabbed Jamal Charles. So I got Alex Smith, Sherman, and Charles. You see I got Emmett Smith starting at the halfback. And that is the Thanksgiving one. And then my D-line is Reggie White, Vince Wilfork. A lot of you guys wanted both of them. I also got Justin Tuck, only an 85. But hey, I'm doing this for fun, so I'm not really worried about it. Then I got Luke Keekley and Levante David. And I'm also using Lawrence Taylor and Carl's Dansby at the other spots. Then for the corners, I grabbed Darrell Revis, the new New England Patriot. You know I had to go and grab him. I grabbed Dom D, Vontae Davis, Eric Weddle, and Brian Dawkins, the hard-hitting safety. Once again, all players you guys voted for. So let's get into some gameplay. We're starting this one off. Already faced with a third and seven. But Alex Smith's going to find Josh Gordon across the middle. We keep the chains moving. And this team, it is a lot of fun to play with using different guys. You really don't know what to expect. We're running a little wide receiver screen for Andre Johnson. Picking up some nice blocks. Also, someone did comment for me to use the pistol formation. I am using that with these players. Now, Emmett Smith getting out on the left side. Picks up a really nice chunk of yardage there. About 16 yards on the play. And then we hit him with the read option. He did not see this one coming. Alex Smith getting in the end zone. Let's go. We're on the board early. And we take a 7-0 lead. Now we're in the second quarter. My opponent dropping back. Or is he? He had no intention on passing there. He streaks all his receivers. And he's just looking to roll out with Andrew Luck. Now on 4th and 6. He's going for it. And he ends up picking it up. I was just a bit too late with Levante David. Now 3rd and 8. Looking right side. Finds Jordy Nelson. Picking up another big passing play. He's really taking some time off this clock. Really chipping away. And now he's going to find Percy Harvin across the middle. But look at Brian Dawkins laying down the wood. But it doesn't matter. He hangs on to it. And then Andrew Luck gets into the end zone. So I have 18 seconds. No timeouts. Alex Smith running the screen for Emmett Smith. And he's getting out to the left side. But he's unable to get out of bounds. So with one second remaining, we're just going to throw it up. Alex Smith looking deep for Andre Johnson. He comes down with it. And what a way to end the half. So we're going to the second half, up 14-7. to seven. Andrew Luck finds his tight end. Brian Dawkins once again with another big hit. But he's hanging on to the ball. Now on third and four, looking deep left side. Eric Weddle comes up with the interception. And man, oh man, he makes some awesome plays. You guys are going to see more and more of him. So now in the third quarter, we're just giving it off to Emmett Smith. Really pounding the ball. I'm not going to pass too much. I'm already kind of sick of passing because I passed so much when I had Brady. But here on 2nd and 12, going with the play action, looking deep down the field. I have no idea what I was doing there. I really can't explain. No excuses to make except that was just an awful pass. So now we give it back to my opponent. 
and he has a chance to tie. He looks across the middle, finds Antonio Gates. He gets close to midfield, and now we're at the two-minute warning. Now he finds Devin Hester, and he's moving the ball pretty well. Second and one, Andrew Luck dropping back, looking across the middle, finds Percy Harvin, but look at Brian Dawkins. Ends up injuring him on the play. So now he's going to run a read option. And Eric Weddle forces the fumble. He comes out of nowhere. Vince picks it up on the play. And look at this. He's got nothing but green in front of him. And I'm thinking to myself, we got one man to beat. Can we beat Andrew Luck? Oh my goodness. He brings him down. If I would have had a 97-yard fumble return with Vince Wilfork, I would have been going crazy. And now just running out the clock here. Jamal Charles on the counter play. Making people miss. Turning on the speed. He gets into the end zone, and that would end up being the ball game. So a nice 21-7 victory and a nice week one win. So now I decide to jump into the second game. My opponent looks right side, throws an interception to Revis Island on one of the first plays of the game. He's looking to return this one to the house, brings it down to the five. And the game just started, and my opponent, he already quits. So just like that, we are 2-0. I'm sorry, the second video, second game, I should say, was so short. But hey, week three, week four, they'll be here soon enough. So be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you guys think of the series. Also, be sure to subscribe for Daily Mutt and NBA 2K. And be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll be sure to hit you guys with a follow back. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm TD Presents. Peace.